Alright guys, so I just went ahead and uh, finished the base layer of Kenzo on the Grand Prix and it's looking pretty nice right now. Uh, I had longer flash time so what I was able to do is I was able to do, do multiple panels for example. Once I finished my initial test part on the hood where you guys saw, I kind of figured how much time I was allowed uh, to work in terms of panels. So for example, I did two doors in that time frame. So by the time I finished coating, so I did the first door. And then if I did the back door once I started coating this one, by the time I was done coating this one, I could come back and wipe this one off. And then I, could, I was just repeating the process all the way around. Uh, on, a, on a couple of other spots, on the other side, uh, I actually did, uh, for example, the front fender to the rear door, and I was still able to uh, wipe it off cleanly. Uh, but uh, as far as how much product I used, so again, most of it's kind of attributed to the coating saver applicator. You can see I got a little dirt on here and I got a little dirt towards the end here when I was on the bottom of the bumper there. There was some rubber trim. So now I have the gray side to use. But as far as pr how much product I use, uh, the b the base of the bottle uh, is about that thick in here. So you're losing that much product. But I have about 10 mils of product if I um, play around with it here. I'm from like here to here. Uh, so I have about 10 mils of product of, of Kenzo remaining. So I have plenty for the, the, the test on the roof. And again, I was just shaking it as I went around. Uh, it's not as dark as the um, top coat. I think the top coat has more graphene oxide in it uh, than the other one. But again, you want to just shake it. Just make sure it's tight because I had to open it. Uh, so you can see it's a little darker than the, than the base. So there's probably more graphene oxide in this guy here. So we're going to start applying this one. I just want to give you an idea how much coating I used uh, with with this one. I'm just going to put this one here because I'm not going to use that on there. Uh, let's get to it. Again, we'll just take our towels. I have some more IGL towels because I bought the 10 packs some time ago and I wanted to try them out and again, they're not that uh, they're not that great. Let me put these here for now. And then I will take the applicator and the top coat. And then we'll pop open the top. I'm just going to wipe the top here. I actually changed my gloves here. Hoping you guys can actually see. Let me see if, I can, if you guys have the, the right angle here. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll work. Uh, but again, I waited uh, two hours. So by the time I got around the car, it was about a, a little over an hour. I was taking my time because I didn't want to have high spots on it so I don't want it to come back and, and redo applications on this thing so uh, I took my time I'm in no rush I really need to get this done by the weekend because I have my, my co-worker is coming there's some stuff on here let me wipe this down real quick I don't have I'll just use my finger there were some shards or something on the Thing here. Let me wipe this down with just one of these suede's because I'm not going to use the suede's. <laughs> yeah, there were some shards I got into the uh, applicator here. So let me just wipe this applicator here with the suede. Alright, sorry about that. Let me just put a little bit more on here. To kind of prime the applicator. Put your cap on there just in case you spill it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this whole section here. Just draw a line and back and forth motions. What I like about the top coat, it was so smooth to wipe off. So you'll probably feel your applicator drag a little bit because the first layer is a little tacky. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more because I'm going to just do the entire half of the hood here. So you don't need that much product on here. Again, just draw your puddle line. And the reason for that puddle line is I can grab fresh product anytime. I'm going up and down 
the paint. Right. Just get the edges here. Let's go the section one more time. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for about a minute or two. You know, they have those towels, they have the numbers on there if you want. You can actually number your own towels on here. Yeah, so this one rainbows. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it rainbows uh, more so than the base coat. So it does rainbow, and that means it's starting to flash off the surface. I'll let it sit for another few seconds here. I can see the, the bands opening up a little bit, so I'll let them open just a little bit more, and I'll wipe it off. And it was like watching, uh, what is it, paint dry. And I'll just touch it here. Oh yeah, it's ready to be wiped off. You don't need to let this sit that long. Okay, so this one's not as slick as the base coat. I can tell you that much right now. When it comes to wiping off. So this one's more wipe on, wipe off. Okay, so I'll wipe that section off, then I'll wipe off the second towel. So this probably has the more graphene in it so that you don't get water spotting on here. So this one's going to flash a lot quicker on you, so you don't have to let it sit that long. Alright, so now I have an idea of how quick this is to flash and how soon I can wipe it off and I should be done pretty darn quick. And then I'll show you, I'll come back and show you what it looks like uh, when I pull it out. I'm not going to, in here it looks good under the lights. Pull it outside and you guys should get an idea of how good it looks. Hopefully it looks better than before after all that work I put into this car. It's paint. Alright. So that's it for the top coat application. Pretty straightforward. Uh, really it's not that difficult to use. If you do come across where you have uh, uh, a high spot of some sort on the on the paint, uh, you know, you can come back and fix it. I have plenty of product to, to fix it. Really easy to easy to fix. If you catch it on time, you can just go over with more product and, and it'll um, go. But hopefully you catch any high spots at the base coat because if you get at the top coat, you are going to have to start over again. But again, uh, that's the uh, application of uh, Kenzo Top. And uh, yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and knock this one out and uh, this car will be ready. I'm going to do the coatings on the roof. Uh, I will do that on Sunday. Um, I got to tape those off. I'll let everything else uh, kind of cure. I'm not going to be putting the, the C Quartz tire coating on here. Uh, like I said, the McKees is too difficult to wipe off, uh, to get off. And so I tried to test spot with C Quartz blackout on top of it, see what it looked like, and it, it was not going to look good. So uh, I have a um, buddy of mine coming in. I will put the blackout on his tires. And I'll, you know, I'll show you the entire coating process there. But this is Kenzo Top. Uh, and I, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, just go ahead and post them down below. Uh, I'm curious to see how this is gonna gonna do. Uh, I would like to achieve 12 to 18 months. That amount of time frame. I think this is a five-year coating, I believe, five or seven year. I can't recall. But if I can get about. Uh, a year to two years max because if I have to polish it depends on how it's maintained uh, then you know two years for me would be ideal before I move on to something else but uh, I don't want to have to be polishing this this car that often you know I'll probably just maintain the roof as my test spot for various things but the rest of the car I want to just maintain it uh, and just have it uh, look good most of the time so uh, let me just go ahead and knock this one out 
I will show you what it looks like once I pull it outside. I will have to coat the spoiler tomorrow as well. Uh, once I put it back on, I'm going to let that, that area cure on there and I'll put the spoiler on there and coat the spoiler tomorrow. Alright, so again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the final results of the Grand Prix. And yeah, it's looking pretty good.